Hi right, guys, uh, guess what time it is? It's getting colder. It's getting dark outside like it is right now. You get home from work, get home from school, college, it's dark outside. Can't really do too much, can you? All right guys, what we're gonna do today is talk a little, about, a little bit about winter fishing. One second. Don't forget about our 5K giveaway. 5K. Don't forget. Help us get to that 5K so we can start pushing a lot of this. I mean, I got a whole box of tackle over there. I mean, all kinds of stuff. Uh, I'll put that link in the description somewhere in this video, either right up here or down in the description, probably both places. Be sure to share that video. Be sure to enter that giveaway. It's not hard, it only takes a couple minutes to do. And 20 plus, 20 plus winners guys, 20 plus, it's going to be awesome, there's going to be a lot of winners, going to be some cool stuff given away, my buddy Get Real Bass Fishing, Polly Martin, he's in it with me, uh, he's got a lot of the casking stuff on his channel, they sent to him, uh, I've got a lot of stuff on my channel that comes from my sponsors and me, and me as well, um, be sure to enter that. Be sure to share that video. Be sure to like it, because if we get 500 likes on each video, his channel and my channel, we're gonna, we're gonna get you guys a rod. Do a, do a separate giveaway for a rod. Make sure you enter it. Yeah, you need to enter that one. To be a winner, you gotta enter. Remember that. Woo! Depending on what kind of fishing, areas you fish, you may fish ponds, you may fish rivers, you may fish lakes. Um, I fish normally ponds in the winter time and I will be fishing river uh, some this year uh, out of my kayak. Um, so that's the two main things I'm probably doing. I probably, I'm gonna try to go to the lake some. Um, I don't know how much I'll get to go to a lake uh this this winter time but i'm usually fishing ponds or i'm going to try to fish the river but i'm just going to show you what i'm going to be using normally uh when i'm taking my rod and reels out trying to catch some bass so um this is not going to be like a top 10 top 5 anything like that this is just going to be talking about what i like to use um that's kind of where, where, where this is going we will break this down in categories a little bit. All right, first category I really enjoy using. I uh, actually caught, sad to say, but I actually caught about a four pounder on this thing the other day. Did not have my camera. It died. My phone died. Did not have a way to take a picture. So, just one of them things. I can't remember who makes this. Came, this came in last month's to Lucky Tackle Box. I'm thinking this is the Seville. About a four, four, four and a half pounder on uh, Sunday evening. So, really like that. I like that crawfish color. It actually came up and hit it one time. I missed it. Chunked it back out there two or three different times, a different angle. I was palm fishing and ended up catching him. He's probably five or six foot off the bank. I mean, it come right up to the bank and I, and I caught it. So I was really excited about that. Um, but this is, I, I love using a square bill in the, win, in the winter time. Uh, they really work good. Winter time baits, you, wanna, you want to size down a little bit. Um, fall time, in my fall video, same thing. But you can go up or down in fall more than you can in winter time. I, th I feel like winter time, fish is gonna be more finicky. Fish is gonna have a slower bait. They're gonna be uh, a slow. You need a slower presentation, guys. You need to slow down. Fish in winter time. They're gonna. They're gonna. They're gonna be a lot less active. Um, so slow down with your retrievals. Um, slow down with your methods uh, of fishing. So that's you know a, a little crankbait like that little like that little square bill works great. I like using a crawfish color, depending on water clarity. Um, I like using 
uh, this, if it's a bright sunny day, I like using the silver with black back, the little KVD ones. Uh, next thing you want to, I like using, that I've had uh, good success with, is a uh, bladed jig. Um, this is the Plumhead Tackle Bladed Jig. I really like these. Um, but there it is. I've got the link to his website down below. Uh, he's got he's got Instagram, Facebook, and his his website. So these are really good baits. Um, but I like I like to go I like using a uh, bladed jig. It's a good presentation, like a chatterbait. Only this has got like a this has got the the, uh, the brush guard in the front to help you work through your cover quite a bit better. It always works, almost any time of year, but wintertime they really shine. Is a jig. Uh, this is I think a three eighths ounce uh, football jig, and it's pimp burn jelly. It's got bass munitions. Um, little trailer here on the back. Um, so it gets, puts off a good slow presentation. Uh, I like using I like using that. Those uh, don't have a lot of don't have a lot of action to it. Just something subtle. Yeah, this is thirty pound uh, cast king braid. It's my Bass Elite Tech medium heavy uh, seven seven foot rod. All right. Next thing I like to use is, is a jerk bait. You know, jerk baits are really, really one of them baits that shines. Also, in the, in the winter time, you can you can throw that cast that thing out. You know, jerk it two or three times, let it pause, try to get that reaction bait. Work it. You know, reel it in just a little bit, or, or jerk it. You know, two or three more times, get that cadence going. You know, let it sit there, jerk it a couple times, jerk it two or three more times, you know, work it in. Uh, but I've got this one on my medium, uh, medium heavy moderate action rod. Now this is my 7 foot 2 Bass Elite Tech, uh, my Fenwick. The other one was a Fenwick, this is a Fenwick 2. Um, but I, uh, this is, this is my uh, Blues LFS Speed Spool. And it is seven five to one, and that's just one type of jerk bait. Um, I like the Repolis. Here's the Shadrack Repolis. I really like them. They work good. Here's a Livingston. It's a little bit bigger. Here's a Smithwick jerk bait. Here's another one. And I'm thinking this right here is a Rapala. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm thinking that's what that is. It may be a Smithwick too, but I can't remember. Also, what you, you know, sometimes you can get away with using lipless crankbaits. Sometimes you can get that reaction strike with a lipless crankbait. Um, there's, you know, just whatever your preference is on that is, is you know, get out there and use it. If you don't know what a lipless crankbait is, there's an example right there. Um, I'm using that a little bit, it's got a little moss on it. But there, you can work these things slow, you can yo-yo them, um, you can reel them in fast, stop reel them in fast. That's one tip I want, I want to share with you guys. Whenever you're working these things in like a square bill, don't just reel them in. Don't do that, don't just reel the things in. What I like to do, and I've got, I've gotten a lot more strikes this way. You know, you cast that down out there, you reel it in, you stop, it's gonna start floating up, or kind of backwards, and it's gonna start, all right, start reeling it. You know, reel it in. Uh, sometimes, instead of just stopping, I'll stop, plus I'll jerk a little bit. I give just the twitch, just take your rod tip, and just, Switch it right there a couple times, one time, two times, don't make a difference. Start reeling it, reeling it, reel it for several rotations, stop. And a lot of times you'll get that strike either when you stop or when you start again. So don't just reel them in. You know, you want to work a square bill around around uh, 
cover. You know, you want to bump it off things if possible. And of course, you can get hung up that way, but you're going to get more strikes that way as well. But don't just reel them things in. Reel them in, stop. You know, give a little jerk every now and then, and then start reeling again. But you'll get a lot more strikes that way if you do that. Um, also, spinner baits. Depending on water clarity, depending on uh, the the sky, you know, the, the overcast or not. Um, this is this right here is good for um, kind of a cloudy day. I mean, you, and plus with a wheel lease on it, you know, you can work it a little bit faster. You can let that thing. Now, a lot of people use like using uh, Colorado blades. Let that blade, you know, just let it fall. Uh, if you want to like yo-yo it or whatever, let that bait just fall down the water and get a lot of strikes like that um you know there's one that you, if you got if you got stained water that's a good one both of these are the kvds uh spinner baits i like using i like using both of those caught a lot of fish with those i'm going to show you a bait and it's going to blow your mind you ain't going to believe me when i tell you i've caught a ton of fish on it I can prove it. I'll show you a clip. I was out last year. I was I was fishing when it was snowing. It, it, well, actually, it just had snowed, and I decided I'd go down to the pond, fish a little while. It was a slow day. I mean, of course, it was. I forgot what temperature it was, but it was you know cold enough to snow. But anyway, I ended up casting out there, throwing, throwing you know, casting out there like I normally do. Along the edge of the bank there, just kind of casting out, you know, 10 foot of water or so. Working it back in real slow to me. I was using a Senko. Now this Senko right here has been worn and torn. I tell you, it's, it's, it's wore out. But guys, I'm going to tell you something. Use, this is a uh, Gary Motto. This is one of his, one of his Senkos. This is the, uh, uh, these are the five inch. I've had these things, I've had this bait, I've had this one pack for about two years. This one pack. You know why I've had that one pack so long? Not because I don't use them, it's because I use these little O-rings. These little O-rings right here will save your baits. Use them. They work, I'm telling you. They will save your baits. Now what I like to use is a little, uh, Gamagatsu number two, I think it's number two or two alt. Um, little, and I put the, I can put a link below or somewhere in the video on what hook this is. But it's got a little keeper on it. If you can see it, but it's just a small little, kind of like octopus hook. I tell you guys, these things work. Work them slow, and you will catch fish. Um, I'm 100% hundred percent sure if you go out and you work this thing slow in the winter time, you're going to catch fish. All right, guys, so uh, let's see what else we got. Weather gets colder. You fish in a little bit deeper water. Shad wraps. They work good for colder water. Um, now, these right here don't have rattles in them. I've got some right here that that do have rattles this is a little blue back a lot of people have good luck with hair jigs uh have never used a hair jig before in the winter time but i know they work because i've seen a lot of people use them a lot of people catch fish with them uh spoons same thing never used a spoon before but they worked so i'm told I don't I don't usually fish that deep of water I and mean, that's that's usually really deep water trying to catch fish it's really really deep. Um what else we got? I covered jigs, I covered square bills, uh lipless crankbaits, spinner baits, jerk baits, um underspin. There you go. Put you one of these on, try it. These things work as well. Um, I think, 
I can't remember if this is a Strike King or what kind it is, but um, underspans work good for winter time as well. Uh, you can put, that's got a big swim bait, uh, culprit swim bait on it. What have I not covered? Size down on your baits and you'll catch more fish, I'm telling you. Size down, slow down. And uh, you'll, you'll, you'll catch more fish. You'll catch more fish this winter, I promise you. Alright guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. hope you got something out of it. Um, just kind of going over baits that I like to use in the winter time. Not nothing real specific. Kind of going through different categories. But nothing real, real specific on what I like to use. But I really do hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you did get something out of it. If you did, please leave me a comment below. Let me know you did. If you got if you got ideas for more uh, fishing videos, let me know in the, in the description below as far as uh, what you want me what you want to see this winter time. Uh, tip videos, how to spool up reels. Uh, you know, certain bait you want me to go over. You know, just whatever. Um, let me know in the comment section below what you would like to see, because I'm, you know, I'm wanting to get, want to get in that transition of winter time, uh, doing things, putting out videos like you want to see for this coming winter. Guys, thank you for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to my channel as always. All right, guys, we're going in this video and tell you thank you very much. I appreciate all the support and guys take care have yourself a great weekend we'll see you next video peace out guys later look at that toad Woo! holy cow <laughs>